this is my first story time. Hopefully it's funny. Like, I hope it's funny. Fuck, it isn't funny. I'm not posting it. My comedian friend said it was a good story, so I'm gonna use it. Basically, a story about working with white trash. Literally, my first day of work, my first ever shift, the first ever job I ever had. Me personally, I grew up in Ents, so it was like 90 percent black. So I got my job. Quick backstory. Doesn't fucking matter, but I'm gonna tell it anyways. Uh, I had been applying for jobs since I was 16. Like, I got this job like a week after my 18th birthday, and it's literally because of nepotism like i had been applying non-stop tesco mcdonald's sainsbury's Lidl, aldi when i told you no one even wanted to do an interview with me what two years of rejection allow it man allow it and those agency jobs yeah were not popping at the time and also amazon wasn't really a thing in it like and plus i was 16 like why what am i working at amazon for i needed cash no slavery i basically got the job because i went into card factory the day before my birthday to get balloons right i walk in my friend's working i was like what what you work here like like this is five minutes from my yard like what are you doing and he's like oh yeah like i just got the job da, 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 da. i'm telling him oh like how did you get the job fam i've been applying for years he was like fam i can just put in a good word like no no worries i said yeah are you right and he was like yeah just drop me your number in it got me the job then next if i'm an interview within three days i said what is this life is this nepotism oh my gosh and obviously it's nepotism through the connections I already had in it. Like we met at NCS. I don't have connections through my mum. Like she's a healthcare worker. Like she's a nurse. Like I'm not trying to be a nurse. Power to the nurses, yeah? I'm not fit for that. I will punch a patient in his face. Like this UK racism, yeah? It's subtle until they hit the age of 55. Then they want to be flabbergasting with it. You want to call me the N word I live? That is crazy. Fam, I will unplug you so fast. I will send you to hell on an express train. Anyways, do the interview. All nice. I get the job they're telling me yeah your first shift is this day so i clock in the people that are there are two managers and this new girl i'm new obviously but she's new as in from a week ago so she just started a week ago right so i'm thinking oh cool da, da, da. she looks kind of my age and stuff so i'm like oh well but anyway. uh i'm the only black person there like my friend is black but obviously he's clocked out in it so it's just me and the quarks and so they put me behind the cashier with the new girl and the managers are like they've gone to the back in it i'm thinking all right this is a small shop and it's a card shop as well like we sell a couple teddy bears and some balloons but we don't get customers like that in it so it's never really busy it's usually like one customer every 15 minutes in it so it's pretty manageable the new girl stood next to me and i'm not really good at making conversation i've said all the small talk i can think of in it so it's kind of we're just standing in silence she's on her phone we're not allowed to be on our phones but do i care like do i look like a snake do I look like a snake? I don't get paid enough for that, love it, man. I'm airing it in it, so I'm just like looking at, like around, like looking at the high street, cause the whole wall, like facing the high street, glass, right? Important factor, glass. This is not plaster. This is not cement. This is not wood. This is glass. So you can see everyone and their mother walking past. I don't know how much time had passed, but some time had passed. The manager comes from the back. She's like, oh, new girl, can you come? Obviously, I don't know her fucking name, like maybe i asked I'm not sure but yeah she's like new girl can you come in it she comes with her cashier da, 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 da. like she comes out with all her money and stuff like that and i'm just thinking okay cool so i'm now at the cashier by myself i'm thinking how am i getting left at the cashier by myself on my first day you guys are violating what i don't know what i'm doing this thing i know the new girl storming out from the back all the way to the front she leaves i tell her bye she airs it babe what just ask each other how our days were going where's this attitude coming from i'm thinking you know what maybe she didn't hear it in my mind i'm thinking her shift is over no foul no play i'll see you tomorrow but now in hindsight the way she aired me why did i even say bye i'm the only person of color in this establishment and i'm not minding my own business bye you know i should have told her to suck her mum the way she was giving me that cold shoulder but minor, I air it. I continue about my shift because I'm seeing no issue. Yeah, I'm thinking everything is calm, everything's cheeky, everything's delightful. I go about my day at the cashier. I'm thinking, wow, like I'm such an adult. Like I'm a big woman now. I got my first job as soon as I turn 18. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna, I'm, what am I gonna do with my first paycheck? Like I'm working this shift, this shift, this shift. Da, 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 da. Like mommy's gonna add up. Like, you know, this is the start of my legacy, my start of my empire, all that rubbish, yeah. That capitalism feeds you fuck capitalism closing time comes shop closes i think five or six i can't remember right but yeah get my cashier they count it up yeah and now they're putting me on cleaning duty on my first day am i a monk 
am I a mug? I get it, right? I get it. It's part of the job description. But if you wanted to leave at 5.20, you should have been cleaning up during that counting session, right? But no, now we're leaving at 6.30 because you wanted to be doing fuck all in the back, drinking your tea and coffee. Your breath stinks, babe. And there's two of you, two managers sitting on their asses doing fuck all. And now that I finished my cashier job standing all day, you want me to sweep and mop the floor? You know this is sounding like racism? Anyways, I sweep the floor and mid mop. You know, minding my business, just thinking, okay, like, I'm gonna tell my mom. Mid mop. Boosa, boosa, boosa on the door. Excuse me? Excuse me, cars have never been that deep. These cars are 59p max right maybe one pound if you want the christmas set but 59p max why are you breaking the door are you out of your fucking mind i look at it yeah me i have no chest i'm 18 i'm a young babe i'm not fighting any man for anybody i look at the door babe it's phil mitchell and his hooligan no there's no way this man what 6162 i said not in this life huh me shaking like a fucking leaf I'm like, oh, we're closed. Look, we're, we're closed. Yeah? These men, boys, open the fucking door. I said, no. No. I'm going to the back. You must be out of your mind. Who's opening any door for you? We are closed. Yeah? But at the same time, I'm thinking, yeah, there's only what is it? This building has not been built for emergencies. The fear that touched my soul, it was too much. I'm thinking, all of this energy because of birthday balloons, because of cards, because of teddy bear, it's not that deep. It's never been that deep. Fam, all the money's in the safe. Like, no one is selling you cards. Go away. Like, open the fucking door. Me. Me, you're, you're saying fucking to me. But who am I going to fight? No one, because how much do I make? £5.55. If my pay was £10, I still wouldn't fight. But God knows, for £5.55, I'm not even, I shouldn't have even replied. I should have just acted like I was a blind bitch. Because in this life, if you're not paying my bills, you cannot talk to me that way. Why are you angry? Why are you angry at me? What? Because, no, this is my shift. This is my first shift. Why are you, why is this happening on my shift? I'm bugging, I'm bugging out. I'm bugging, I'm bugging out. Like, what, is this normal? Is this normal? Why am I here? Why am I here? Is this, this why they wanted me to mop? Because they know crazy people are about. You must be out of your mind. I'm thinking, fam, I know I live in the hood, but gentrification. What? Like, I thought it was doing its job. I obviously run to the back room because if anyone's going to get beat up, it's the two white women. It's not me. Sorry. Do you know how much a large Big Mac meal is in London? It's like over £5.80. Right? Me, I make £5.55. If I cannot afford a Big Mac, I cannot afford getting punched up by some random white man. Get on my fucking face. Um, when I stepped in the back, I looked at them like, we're all safe, fam, because me, I'm not opening that door and I need to get home. You guys better sort this out. I do just have the audacity to tell me. I'll ask him what he wants. I looked at them. I said, no. <laughs> no, no, because you guys are what? You guys are grown women. Oh, scary. You guys are grown women. Gr grown women. You guys can deal with your own mess. What the fuck? Why is that my business? Why is that my business? Since when was that my business? Why should I put myself in firing range? You guys speak the same language? Go and talk to your mates. It's not me. Sorry. I sent those women to go and get trampled. Because feminism can only go so far in this life. You made me mop. You made me sweep. Now I should die. So now that I'm safe, I'm undercover, I've sent these women off to their destiny. Now I'm peeking around just to see, you know, keep myself updated so I can feed back to my friend when he works tomorrow. And plus, you know, you never know if this escalates and the police come, I need to give a accurate report. Me, CPR. Now nah, I don't know that still, like that's not my that's not my issue, fam. My managers approach the door with fear in their eyes. And I understand it, but that's your job. You're the manager. Me, I'm a regular sales assistant. You know, maybe if you could have handled the job, you shouldn't have taken it. I'm just saying, during this whole ordeal, he's still boom, 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 busting this glass door. And it's getting to a point where it's like you can see it curving. 
yeah this guy is four bangs from shattering this glass and the whole thing is glass if he shatters this one door yeah this whole thing will go down i'm not saying for this but the woman's like oh wait stop 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 da, 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 da. trying to speak through the door yeah he's not having it he's like open it fucking door right now me yeah, i'm just watching cop gone you know got a little bit of a drink Drinking that stupid tea that they were shrinking while I was mopping like a slave. I'm joking, I never ate anything from that dirty kitchen. But yeah, obviously I'm eavesdropping. It turns out that white girl that left, new girl, my bad. Same thing. That girl that left, she got fired. She got fired. And I'm thinking, what did she get fired for? Because like, I'm hearing it all for the first time, innit? She got fired because she stole from the register right but that was the second time she had stolen so she stole last week and then today she stole again and they were like yeah like we can't have her around da, 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 da. so they kicked her out in it like, they were like fam like you're bugging what the fuck like how are you stealing twice in your first week like you're bugging but obviously she didn't like the consequences of her actions so she went to go and lie to her 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 dad and this this thug been in a whole different narrative talking about da, 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 like they did this they did that like my gosh like it's not safe working there da, 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 like I, I don't know exactly what she said and the managers are trying to explain it in it but that you know trash will be trash and i didn't realize that she was there until like what like as soon as they opened the door yeah this bitch peeking around the corner i think yeah wow hmm. you had the reason these gangsters are here I'm thinking, wow, like, this is my first shift. This is the first time I've ever worked. And this is so eventful. I'm thinking, wow, like, this place is really ghetto. I understand I grew up in the hood, yeah, but these type of white people are a different breed. It's very scary. Very scary, nerve-wracking. I didn't feel safe at all. At this time, I hadn't had much exposure to white people, right? I'd only seen white people on, like, TV and stuff. I was like, wow, like, I've never seen white people act like this apart from on tv but it's like wow like get out mm. i've seen ghetto white people on t what's that what's that what's that network thc the one with honey boo boo i used to love that show that's where i saw ghetto white people but in this england i'd never seen it firsthand and this was my first experience and i'm not gonna lie it was good it was enjoyable because i was at safe distance like watching it like they didn't calm down like after the managers explained the situation they didn't calm down they, just, they just kept on arguing i'm thinking wow like hmm no grace i did car on. i don't remember exactly how it ended but they eventually fucked off in it and i continued mopping but i definitely messaged my friend and i was like is this why they hired me within four days like you know when people on tiktok are like if they hire you too quickly it's a red flag the red flag was flagging and i didn't know me i was 18 at the time in it but now i'm a big girl i know if the hiring process is underneath a week these people are desperate but yeah shout out to my friend we were the only two black people there and it was fun because we were together but the second he quit i left as well because in this life safety in numbers you must be out of your mind if you thought i was going to stay there without some solidarity get out of my face these people are crazy but anyways i hope you love i hope you enjoyed yourself you know if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you want to like you can like guys if you want to leave a comment you can leave a comment it's a bit overwhelming to read comments but it's like oh you know comment if you want to but yeah that was my first story time my life's not that eventful so don't expect like better story times like i i choose peace a lot like that's why my blog list is so long but yeah have a good day